Oh dear, this is not another apparition. This is El Presidente broadcasting once again. We are playing Tropico 5. There has been a whole new expansion pack other than Waterborne. This time we are looking at Espionage, which will hopefully include some Edward Snowden references and all of that good stuff. I'm very much looking forward to this because this is one type of, um, or at least an aspect of politics that really I enjoy. So let's go ahead and have a look at the new campaign without further ado. Unfortunately, these episodes are going to be capped off to 15 minutes because of YouTube deciding to punish me retroactively um, for something like meta-tagging meta of a video that... Uh, it's a long story, but we'll get into it, I guess, further on into this episode. But YouTube decided to punish me um, for something that they already punished me six months ago. Um, but that decided to punish me once again for it. We'll go with a Vargas. Actually, no, let's go back to the main menu. I do like this art style, obviously. I haven't really changed it all too much, but let's go ahead and uh, not blabber on too much. The Maltese Toucan is the brand new campaign. Actually, if we go ahead and just read this. The Espionage campaign where El Presidente and Penultimo will use all their dirtiest tricks in the book in order to obtain a stuffed bird. Alrighty. Um, let's see. Who else do I have around over here? I think I did go ahead and um, reset this game about 10 million times because the Waterborne expansion pack stuffed up on me. Unfortunately, um, I had the infinite loading screen problem. So I had to reinstall everything and that didn't really seem to fix anything. But now it seems to be working. So that's good. Um, let's go with... Well, I'm happy with everything. Let's go with Lago La Grande first. Learn about the fabled Maltese Toucan and get rid of the shackles holding you back, which will no doubt be the monarchy, which we need to get rid of quick smart. So let's get on top of that. Now, unfortunately, as I said, these videos are going to be 15 minutes long. I don't have anything that I can do to fix that. Although in 10 days time, this thing that YouTube had decided to impose on me is going to be over because the six months the will be over. Great nations have often been shaped by various obsessions that ultimately would become the hallmark of their national identities. Ancient Greece had its Helen that proved to be the doom of its greatest city. Spain had an unmatched appetite for gold that brought on an age of discovery and expansionism. Tropico, on the other hand, well, in one of its many space-time incarnations, had an obsession with a particular stuffed bird. An obsession that would shape it to become the great nation it had always imagined itself to be. Ah, uh, yes, the mighty Toucan, the legend of the Toucan. Good day, now, Governor. what age are we playing in? link to his majesty. May his name live long. And the queen, may she... <clears throat> pardon me. I am currently not allowed to comment on her majesty. Okay. We are, of course, in the colonial era, which means that the monarchy is going to be coming down. Now, that introductions are out of the way, let's get down to the nitty-gritty. The queen may... She, as I said, the queen was to possess the Maltese toucan, which is rumoured to be in Tropico. She has his valuable from a chap... Or she has this valuable from a chap named McGovern, who claims it will be easy to find if one handles the matter with a firm hand. Her Majesty's wishes are His Majesty's wishes, at least for the moment. So get to it, chap. Or Her Majesty's wishes. Jeez, it is way too early in the morning for me to be actually reading this. So let's go ahead and check out what we've got over here. Now, uh, what we should do is check out some of these new missions. Um, is this timed? It is, is, it is going to be. It is. Good so we've got four day, years. I will be your link to his majesty. May his name live long. And the queen, may she... <clears throat> pardon me. I am currently not allowed to comment on her majesty. Alrighty. Um, so wait, we've got to build a dungeon. Why did I not um, check this out? The dungeon seems to be new. Information about the Maltese Toucan. Okay. Alrighty. So... I absolutely hate the uh, colonial era myself because you've got to do all the exploring, especially in World War One era as well. Uh, but after that, the game seems to loosen its grip on um, your creative freedom on Tropico. And you can go ahead and build wherever you please on the other side of the coast or whatever. So let's go ahead and check this out. So let's just go one by one. Check out what we've got if I do spot anything new. Um, actually, no. 
There really wouldn't be anything new in over here there, would there? Um, you never know, though. Oh, a Dolphinarium. I think there have been a couple of patches to include a couple of um, new things to play around with. Uh, but the main things that we... Ooh, a giant laser. That's definitely new. Um, we've got Waterborne and, of course, Espionage. So, the dungeon for $4,000 or Tropican dollars allows the arrest citizen action. Arrested citizens will be re-educated and then abandon the negative roles. Houses five prisoners. A ranger corps. Unique um, provides a squad of rangers that automatically explore the island. A Ministry of Information, of course. How else would we be able to exploit our citizenry? Secure checkpoints, spy academy, radar, police blimps. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, mechanized garrisons and a drone command. Obviously in modern times. Very, very cool. All right, so let's go build that dungeon right off the get-go. Um, we don't really have too much opportunity to place a dungeon in the uh, deep dark depths in the middle of uh, the desert of this island so we're going to place this I guess where citizenry or the population center exists right over here what else do we have over here on the dock chap have I got a deal for you today as crown representative I can offer you your very own trading license Hmm. Why trade license from the Dutch? And that doesn't really um, take too much money away from us. So that's actually pretty good. I don't really want to be spending too much money on trade routes because at the moment, trade routes I don't really use that much in Tropico. But anyways, so yeah, unfortunately, like in Tropico 5 Waterborne, there was this endless... Um, loading a screen loop for me and it seems like many people have that problem and I tried everything that I could that people knew of to fix it but it just wouldn't work so unfortunately that had to be cut short that let's play I like mainly just straight roads um, so we're gonna try to keep these roads as straight as we can what I'm gonna do is extend this one a little bit so then this will be able to be straight there we go and then I think over here we'll just do all farmland around over here have to check out what we can um, build up, what's going to grow over here, what's going to be fertile. Seems like corn's going to be growing pretty well just anywhere, really. Corn's, I guess, the mainstay of the game, though. Alrighty, and so let's check out what else we have. We've got a Teamsters office and a construction office. I could potentially start paying these guys in the construction office a little bit more, but... I'll leave things as they are. I'll slowly start building up some more plantations, though. Um, some bananas. You know what? Bananas out over here sounds pretty damn divine to me. Because it is pretty much all green, fertile soil for bananas. Perfect climate. The severe undergarment shortage has halted His Majesty's military campaign. How are we expected to conquer both the North and and south poles without warm undergarments for our soldiers no we definitely don't want those uh polar bears getting down to our genitals do we all colonial governors are hereby ordered to lend their support for his majesty's campaign carry out his majesty's wishes and you'll be rewarded with an extension to your mandate as well as other benefits build one plantation of cotton all righty so cotton plantation it is I think what we could also do is just procrastinate a little. See, the thing is that you can't really procrastinate that much in Tropico 5 because of this um, time limit that you have, especially in the colonial era. You can't build up your city or your town. It's not really a city Governor, at the moment. I have tried to gather as much information as possible about this toucan. Unfortunately, most of the legend of the Maltese toucan has been lost. Okay, so I will try to contact the oldest living Tropicans and ask them. Unfortunately, they are either deaf or enjoy telling inconsequential stories at great length, or both. This may take some time. Oh, penultimo, whatever you say. I'm sure he's just saying that to get off. So, off of work, that is. Uh, let's go and plant this plantation pretty much right over here. That seems pretty good to me. So, we've got both our guys working hard over there. I don't like that placement of the um, 
corn plantation. I wish we could move it up a little bit, but we'll leave it at the moment. We'll have to do. So let's have a look at this uh, new texture of the dungeon. Definitely looks like a medieval torture dungeon. If I remember the controls of how to use this game again. Ooh. I like this rusted over water tank, which I'm assuming it is a water tank. Hopefully not a gas chamber or anything. Speaking of gas chambers and just evil things in games, there's this game that's recently been released called Hatred. And um, that's got pretty much indiscriminate killing of civilians, which sounds very exciting. I do like the art style of the game as well. I think I might play it a little bit on my channel. Um, definitely does seem like something that I would enjoy. Just uh, gratuitous violence among civilians. and It does have a pretty interesting art style as well, I must admit. Maybe not the best gameplay though, but uh, it'll be interesting to cover it on my channel, I think. Uh, but let's go ahead and continue on because we've got to make these episodes quick and concise. Which uh, doesn't really go along with the Let's Play video, but... Got to do what you got to do, right? I think uh, the little thing that YouTube have punished me for, which I actually got punished for in December, you get a community guideline strike, right? Um, but just literally about three weeks ago, I haven't uploaded for about three weeks now. Um, they decided to punish me for whatever reason. Um, they did not explain it all for, um, not, and they stopped me from being able to upload longer than 15 minutes, Basically, which is quite annoying. I have been but spending a lot of time in the dungeon. The people in there have the most amusing tales to tell. I call them soaps because I usually wash their mouths out with soap after they start talking. <laughs> Guess that's where the CIA learned the enhanced interrogation techniques. One important bit of information I uncovered is that Old Juan has a huge inheritance, inheritance, which he is hoping to donate to the Tropican Church. We should nudge him a little to get him to make the final step. Have two Catholic missions to guide Juan to give up his inheritance. Alrighty, so I definitely don't like playing this game religiously, but the game tells me to do something. Oh, creamery. Um, game tells me to do something. I will do it. So let's have a look. Welfare and Media Catholic Mission. Alright, so I'll place a Catholic Mission right opposite the um, dungeon. Literally right opposite to it. And then we'll go place another one where there's a few people living around, which is right next to Presidential's palatial offices technological progress is the path to a sonably governor righty and of course we've got those stock standard missions so we're gonna have to wait up a little bit and wait for our builders to get to work on these two buildings which His take priority Majesty has instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation for your achievements in the name of the Empire to be quite honest uh, we don't know how long this mission is going to last, so I will settle for the additional mandate extension of 12 months because that is very beneficial. Once you get down to three months and it seems like you're going to fail, the game gets really generous on you and uh, I think they could chuck either another six months on top of your term or another 12 months. So, supposedly the governor's, governor that's coming to replace you gets lost, stranded on the high seas, so... Not too bad. Uh, let's check out what can we... Oh, we can't actually... Oh, what I should do. Start researching some things. Although we don't have any research points. Which is quite a issue. Um, so, what we'll do is I think maybe some more houses. some uh, Just some country houses. Two of them. We'll do. So people don't have to live in their shanties or shacks. And then we'll start building, we'll only build one Catholic mission for the moment. I want to build that library for the, um, the third building that we're going to be building. Well, I guess these uh, country houses also need to be built. But I'll place them on low construction priority. Because they are a low priority. Instead, what we'll do is go to research and education, go to the library. And let's see. I'm just kind of tempted just to place it right next to the church, just for just for the sake of doing so. But I'll refrain and I'll just place it um, 